game design in assembly language. Um, OK, so where do we leave off? Uh, we had a box going up and down. Yeah, and leaving a trail of artifacts and blinking um, because, uh, well, there's some things that need to be adjusted. All right, so I figured out in preparation for today, I was working on this, because I was like, why does some of my code not have the blinking issue and why does others have it? So I figured out that in put pixel, having push and pop is actually not good. You don't want that there. I don't really remember the reason I put in there. I think it's because um, EAX had been affected something up here and I thought I needed it. Uh, in testing, it turns out I didn't need it. So now you could see there's no glitchy there's no glitchy stuff okay but there still is this other little issue um, that I want to point out and, and that is that it jumps a level down early so there's like a little tag there on the end it's very hard to see I don't know that you'll be able to see it um, but that's just because I didn't clear ECX so it compares over here like Compare ECX to square width, and since I didn't clear it, it has the old value, so it immediately jumps down. You get this little pixel at the far right side. Um, so the Zor ECX is in here, so we need to copy it and also put it here. So, like that. And that'll fix, the, fix that little tag. All right, now we're, we're looking better. Um, and we'll need to bub double buffer eventually. Um, I know I mentioned that earlier. All right, so the next thing that needs to happen is we don't need to move the box across the screen. So I believe we were inking, uh, incrementing one of these things. Yeah, here we go. And it was moving it. We don't need that. Um, what we really want is just this sort of thing. However, we need to clear. Okay, we still need to clear. So what we want to do is we want to clear the box by getting the screen size and, and drawing a box like that. Um, so we have a SQ, SY, width, and height, right? But basically what needs to happen is we need a screen. Um, We'll do screen height, EQ. The height is 200 pixels. Screen width, EQ, 320. Okay. Now we need to clear it black. So we need to set the um, move. EAX zero and move SQX EAX. We need to copy this and do it for Y as well. And then we need to do this as well for width and height. So width height uh, let me double check my variables make sure they're correct good and then this needs to be set to screen that was width right yeah width screen height okay and then the same process has to come back and we have to make um draw box be set okay okay with two I think 10 height we'll do 80 let's see the X will do 20 and then Y to get halfway 200 pixels minus 80 is 120 60 okay I believe Okay, all right. But it doesn't move. So now we need to make it move. 
we probably don't need to do height and um, x value because if we're doing pong I think we'll start with pong uh, since I already built it somewhere else that way I have a reference um, so we basically need to just move the x coordinate or no the y coordinate up and down so that means we need a we'll just call it um, left paddle and I'll, I'll do a comment here just so we know um, user um, drawing okay so left uh, left paddle I don't know yeah so it's, it's a left rectangle but yeah whatever left paddle equals uh, and it, it would be the Y so left Y paddle and then that would be a DD mm, I think the value is 60 so then we'll do left Y paddle and um, we're not setting it there but where we need to set it is inside this um, move up move down and I think I'm gonna get rid of these push and pop EA axes because they seem to be messing with the drawing I think they're just slower I have to think I have to do a little bit of research as to where push and pop is properly used but anyways so left Y paddle um, left Y paddle yeah I think that's correct okay yeah of course now that we're clearing the screen you can't see stuff that's being written but we don't really need to see it anymore so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that right char command it's in key down right char okay so we have about a third of a working game and you may notice that when it goes up here like this it disappears that's because we're going outside of memory and it's messing with it so we do need something that is like um, checks whether or not it's inside memory so when we draw a pixel we'll probably want to check that so we might not want to check it we might want to check it in draw box instead of pixel so it's not called every single time um, but for now, pixel's fine. Uh, let's see. It's EDI, so we would do a CMP EDI to um, raw start. We don't have a draw end yet. Okay, if jump if it's less than two where do we increment it? Mm, we increment it here. So we probably want to jump over this move byte command. Um, we'll do dot continue. It'll just skip it. I believe. Uh oh, did I did I screw it up somehow? Yeah. Size is not oh size is not specified. Um, I believe it is actually this um, yes okay 
but it doesn't seem to want to skip over that. But it is working. I'll have to work on that more later. Um, so right now we have one single paddle. We're still building inside the bootloader. At some point I'm going to have to do a jump to sector 2 so that we can have more space for memory and for variables and stuff. And then we'll move the code over. So that'll probably be next time. Um, but for now, we fix the little jittering. You can move the paddle for the thing up and down. And that's pretty cool. And then I guess next time we may be able to add a um, little ball that flies around on the screen. So um, I'm going to end the video here.